Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Abyssinia. In the last episode, we expanded a little bit. We grabbed the Duchy of Danakil there. Uh, and we, you know, just managed the realm, held court, did all those sorts of things. We do. And, uh, yeah. Kind of continuing to poke out our borders here and there where it makes sense. Um, but I think we're at a point now where we might slow down with that a bit and uh, work on kind of consolidating and improving our core realm. Not for the time being. Uh, what we're going to be working towards kind of here is our next major goal is going to be coming the Empire of Abyssinia. Um, that's going to require that we have two kingdom titles and that we have 69 of the digital counties. We have 28, so we need another, what, 41 counties? So, yeah, that's quite a few. Um, so, we also need to be careful about expanding to the point where we, again, get where we can we're, we have enough to form multiple kingdoms because then if we go through succession and with you know confederate partition you know whole chunks of the uh of the realm could break off so um we can't expand too fast until we at least get down to normal partition um so yeah um, what I also need to think about is what we're going to be doing with succession, because I want to start also building up the, the bloodline, right? We need to see if we can't get some good traits and get a eventual ruler that will be able to convert religion. We need to convert to Kushite, I think is the plan. Um, I also need to deal with my wife because we have a bit of an issue there. Um, because she is not actually helping us in our realm. Um, she is the... Steward of High Chief Dis Nijin. Nijin? And she's ruling her own realm, so it's not really that useful. So we're going to arrange a divorce and uh, we're going to figure something out. All right. Let's find someone. Do we do I want to go with someone who's fertile? Probably not. Okay. Infertile. So I'm not that worried about Where are you? You're way out up there. It really likes trying to pair us with Greeks. In which, you know, nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, having their armies respond during war is uh, is kind of useful. Um, I don't see if you have a decent stewardship. You look all right. Okay, go for it. There we go. Now, let me take a look at our culture. At some point, we're going to need to start modifying culture and... Um, I don't know if I want to... Yeah, we can't diverge. If I want to try and go for a... Like a hybrid culture? Actually, 
Let me take a look at Egyptian. Because far future plans might want to merge us with Egyptian. Um... Agrarian. And tent trade is more common. Children tend to do slightly worse in the martial education. The diligent patient and athletic traits. Additional bonuses. Prowess minus two. Mended at arms. Recruitment cost. Supply limit in desert, levy size in desert, supply limit in dry lands, levy size in dry lands. That's nice. Less likely to get rowdy, more likely to get pensive. Learning traits in the scholar trait also give cultural fascination progress. That's nice. I'm not so sure about agrarian. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, we are getting some homage, which actually got us some renown. It's a reinforcing congenital traits. Yes, we want to go for that blood right away. But that is meaning we are in short of renown, which is not a problem. Again, not really an issue. Uh, if we have to inherit as this guy, we have to inherit as that guy. He hasn't ha doesn't have any kids yet. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right, we're gonna throw some money around though. Oh, I've, we're being called to war. I hmm. In a peasant uprising. Uh, sure. We'll we'll join you in a in a peasant uprising. And because you won. Uh, one of my sons had a kid. Okay. Yeah, we honor our obligations, and uh, we don't have to do anything. Great. So, what I was actually planning to look at is my our innovations here for Ethiopian. Working on crop rotation, 10 years. Well, no, we're being exposed to crop rotation. We are working on MOTS. 49 years. Yeah, that's what we need. We also need city planning. Okay. So we're not going to be able to build any new holdings anytime soon. Let's see a makeshift looking stall. A small cross carvings. So talk to him and see what he, we can learn about salesmanship. Okay, so let's try to beef up the capital. Because the capital does need some work. Now, really, what I'm probably going to do is get rid of this regiment. Because there's no point really having two of these. Um... We'll increase the size of our archers. Okay, so we have pikemen, archers, and light footmen. We could create armored footmen or camel riders. Yeah. 
in desert, in dry lands, in oasis, in floodplains. In plains, in dry lands. So the Kamen Riders get us bonuses in the terrain that we're going to be fighting in. You know what? Let's do that. Now, that does mean that we now have spent our money. The hunting grounds, I think, might be useful. Spearmen. Basically, all of these are a good idea. But I think archers and skirmishers... So let's go for the military camps. Let's build that. Let's see. We are having an alliance. If you proposed. We'll accept. Funny, because we kind of, like, ripped away a big chunk of their land. Let's get you in there as my master. My wife is once again absent from chambers. We'll just ask her about it. Not that it matters at this point. What is going on here? Holy War for the Chieftain of Body. You are going after that. Ooh. That's a potential problem. Uh, oh yeah, five of seven required counties. Okay, uh, that's actually okay at the moment. Though he's losing badly. So, yeah, that's, that's not going to work. Yeah, well, why did you even think that you could do that? And we just lost our spy master again. Okay. That was a really good spy master. Oh, we have someone who's almost as good. There we go. Now, here's a city. Revoking... Let's revoke the title. Is that a wrong holding type? Let's see. Our son is going to get zealous. That's fine. That's common. Um... Let's try to go for that. And we need another spy master again. All right, fine. 
We've had another grandkid. Now you are giving me no money. Uh, wrong holding type. It is wrong holding type. Well, then we'll just assign it back to somebody. Random. Okay. But I would like to build something there. We are being raided. Let's see if we can deal with that. Caught him. All right, Solace and Script, the latest work of my acquaintance, High Chieftain Lebna, has come all the rage of court. Uh, of late, his peace deals feelings of sorrow and loss, and Lebna has publicly dedicated it to me. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with those stress loss and get some opinion. Here we go. All right. Pause there for a second. Okay, so we need to disband the army. Enemy armies are around. That's because you're down there. Really? I've been called to war again. Uh, again by who? And for what? The Mott claim on the chiefdom of Walamo. So there. I'm actually going to decline on that because I just don't have the cash. In fact, that's why I need to get this army disbanded. Because we're, we're, we're burning money. Right now. There we go. Okay. Okay, so my son can marry. Right, and we need to get you converted. There we go. is it going to cost me to build something here? A minimum 100. And what are we going to want to actually do? Um, for cities, we want to do taxes. Building construction time minus 2%. On leisurely stroll, the cry of a particular merchant stands over the rest of the hustle and bustle. Greetings, my lord. I have an exquisite assortment of wares. My lord has the coin. A merchant stall is positively brimming with baubles and haberdasheries. There's a word. Uh, I would rather not lose the money. No. He might go for those quarries, actually. Camelry. Yeah, but I think the quarries is going to provide a more long-term benefit. Yeah, we 
are being called to war again. Well, that one's a hard pass. We're not, we are not sending our troops to the Byzantine Empire. And I have died. All right, hold on. Let's pause it up. Because now we've got stuff to do. Okay, we have had a son. Uh, no one in my court can be educated. What are you talking about? Um, I'm probably going to get remarried. If possible. Okay. 2600 troops. Uh, our learning is garbage. We are a good diplomat. But otherwise, this character is pretty poor. So we need to basically groom a proper successor. We're 30 years old, that's... We're gonna be playing with this guy for a while. Poor, poor, terrible, terrible. Okay. Alright. Martial lifestyle. Family hierarch. You know what? This is probably actually a good way to go. Fertility? I don't know about fertility. Majesty focus? Prestige? Yes. Go Majesty focus for some additional prestige. We need to fill the council. You are also probably the best guy for the job, even you know, as one of my strong vassals. Um, are you a strong vassal? Stuart. You are definitely a strong vassal that needs to be assigned. Uh, what about you? You're a decent marshal? But actually, no, you're you're pretty weak. And you are a very good marshal, so we will assign you. And Spymaster... Yeah, that's that's good. We have a dangerous faction because of course we do. It's just some peasants who want some independence. Negus Johannes, we have had our differences in the past, but don't you agree this time let our bygones be bygones? Our mother and rival. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, we can negotiate an alliance with Chiefess Priscilla. Our mother. We'll definitely negotiate that alliance. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a slight change here. We're going to tell... 
Plane effectiveness and men in our Yeah, we're gonna tell you rather than organizing army, train commanders. That's gonna make our men at arms stronger and our knights more effective. Because our army is rather small at the moment. Well, we lost a lot of army strength. We need to recover. We need 150 renown to claim back those titles. And until I can build new holdings... 50 years. Um... Then we are going to need to grab those back. The first time I've heard talk of what a great servant Sohela is. And now, Prince Dil Naad has sent me sent her to my court. She represents herself as a token of friendship between my brother and me. He is an unmarried female courtier. Yes, welcome to my service. And my wife is now pregnant. How oh, lovely. Well, let's see what happens with that, and then we'll divorce her. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, okay. Now. Uh, we have... Two situations. You feel the judging stares of all my courtiers on me while I slowly carefully sign my name on a new decree with a trembling pen and uncertain hand. Yes, because we have a very, very poor learning trait. Of course, signing is a strong word. I'm merely retracing letters carved into in a wooden tablet and barely succeeding at it. They, even my Archbishop Mirut, uh, Mirutz is looking at me with what I guess is a mix of pity and disgust. Before I can reprimand him for disrespecting me, he interjects with a hopeful tone. Well, perhaps it's time for you to learn to read and write properly. Yes, I think it's probably time that we learn to read and write properly. As a loud belch echoes through the dining hall, all conversation abruptly ceases. My archbishop it pats his stomach and grins. Ah, better out than in, my dad always said. Ah... Uh, Various courtiers exchange incredulous glances before my courtier Ade looks directly and exclaims, My Negus. That was wholly inappropriate. Certainly you must agree. Oh, come now. I haven't all had to let one loose before. It's been 14 court grand year. A hundred and forty-four stress. Because I am zealous, humble, and compassionate. So if we're going to spend the court grandeur... Let's go ahead and get rid of the stress while we're at it. Okay. We can hold court. I'm not worried about that right now. Okay. Now, what I was going to do is a little thing that I learned we can do. Is we go to our courtiers, and we're not looking at guests. We're looking at actual... You know, like, people who are in our court women who are unmarried. What I want to do is matrilineal all and I want to sort by prowess. I want to get a bunch of good knights in the realm. 26 prowess and you'll accept. Yes. 
you Suhela here also. We want to do matrilineal so that they join our court prowess. Twenty-two. Yep. Let's hire. Let's get you. Bring you in. Higher. No. Our wife is not unmarried. We have another unmarried woman. Our court physician. Matrilineal. Prowess. Agos here. Bring you in. There we go. And now we should have some much better knights. Excellent. That we didn't have to pay for. Even better. So, if we can't make a big army, we can at least try to make the army that we do have more effective. Dear friend. Just look at that. I'm doing great, right? My Archbishop uh, Mirat Sai is shaking his head with a forlorn express and... Oh, yeah, that's... My lord, perhaps you would rather use this fancy shiny steel instead of signing. Apparently, he is not satisfied with the amazing progress I've been making in my endeavor to learn to read and write. Very well. I'll fancifully sign what I read with the seal. Has happened. So we've already lost the opinion. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be an interesting roller to play as. Dangerous faction! Faction to install Prince Abebe of on the Abyssinian throne. Oh lord. You Now, you yeah, he's unmarried. Now, what I really need to do is basically... We've had another son. Because, oh, of course, we have. All right. My religious head will not agree to the divorce. Challenge to a board game? A game of chess will begin immediately. A wager game. 
wager fame. Okay, that's that's an interesting thing. Um Let's let's just try to sway him a little bit. You. Oh, really what I need to do is basically just revoke your title. It's an act of tyranny. Without having a claim. It's going to take me... Seven, you know... Many months. Okay. Someone is planning to kill my knight. Odros. Okay. Well, it seems that he's actually lost his military power. Okay. Then we don't need to worry about it just yet. Okay. So we have time to build the renown that I need to claim the those titles and then revoke them and everything else. Okay. But I think we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. And uh, we'll see about trying to solidify this guy's reign. Um, we may just have to wait until the next ruler before we can really start making some major, some major works. And hopefully we can... You got quick. Ooh. Okay. That's good. That's very good. All right. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and groom a good heir. Because this guy is is garbage. So uh, well, we'll see if we can get a good heir going. All right, but for now, we'll stop here. So if you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.